in this tutorial here, we're going to output a complete printed circuit board design and convert to step. And again, with ACE 3D, you can also convert to other various formats, such as A6 or IGES or what have you, but we're going to use step in this case. First, for the import, I'll go ahead and select Gerber, which will be the format that my printed circuit boards are in. And for export, I'll choose step. And one nice thing about ACE is that as you're selecting your folder where your Gerber files may exist, actually we'll use the fab examples because it's actually drill. Okay, not only does it load in the Gerber files, but also will simultaneously load in drill files. So you don't have to worry about individually separating, oh, should I load the Gerbers, the drills, or whatever. You just select the, into all the files and let Ace figure it out. So at this point, these are the settings for Gerber. Press next. Here I can go ahead and assign uh, default settings. What I like to do is usually assign a very small minimum like line segment in the event there's, it just keeps the data a little smaller and more robust, especially for printed circuit design. If you're doing IC design, you probably want to set that to zero or something very small. All right, I don't want to show the metals in this. I'm just reviewing the options. A nice thing about ACE that you won't find in any other translator is it actually will detect the profile layer. And the profile layer is very important because we're going to be converting, outputting negative masks. And being able to have access to the profile layer is very important. <clears throat> and here's the options here. Those are all fine. So I'll go ahead and press next. At this point, the entire printed circuit board has been imported into ACE. Uh, Consists such as the demo. Let me go ahead and just press it and show you how it appears in the viewer. And again, this is more than just a viewer. You can also perform full editing and any other steps that you require. At this point, all you need to do is build up the layer types and sort the orders. So since the layer types bottom mask, I know that's going to be a negative mask because in Gerber, 99% of all mask layers are negative. Select metal for there, select negative mask for that layer, top silk, and then the metal for there. Now again, the nice thing, we'll go ahead and sort the layers out. So we'll go with the very first will be the top mask. As you see, we're creating our stack. Actually, top silk will be the, the top layer. Top mask, then next comes the top Gerber. Then we'll have the bottom metal and then proceed from there. Great, at this point, we need to then assign the thicknesses for each layer. I'll just generically assign certain thicknesses. There's no rhyme or reason. It's, again, you'll have the specific information that you need, but for this tutorial, I'll just keep it nice and simple. Last thing I like to do, since this is a two-layer board, I like to insert a dielectric in the middle. What you do for that is you click the button Add Dielectric, and you can add a default thickness here. Since we're in millimeters, I'll just select one. You can choose the color and also the name for the dielectric. My dielectric has been added here. Let me sort it so that it exists right between the two metal layers. And if I had a three or I mean, if I had a four layer board or six layer board, I would just add another dielectric and place that in the middle, assign the different thicknesses depending on your PCB stack up. At this point, one nice thing I would like to do is my PCB, I'll save this map file so that in the future, if I ever need to perform this exact same type of conversion, I'll have all these settings saved. So I can go ahead and press save, and it automatically saves it. Now what I like to do for aesthetics is just assign, say for instance, like the silk screen. Probably it's gonna be white. Uh, for the mask layer, we'll just choose a green color. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but just to give you a good idea of, of how we'd like the board to appear. The bottom. And this is all just extra, uh, just appearance things, nothing specific that will affect the conversion. All right, so as you see, there's only one last thing that I have forgotten, and that's the Z base. That's the, the base area where the layer begins. Fortunately, there's a feature called Update Z base. Press OK, and it automatically calculates the entire Z base for me. Let me go ahead and save my map file again. So again, in the future, when I use this, it, everything will be done for me. Go ahead and press next. Select the location for my step file. And I'll call this my step 
PCB and let ACE3 go ahead and crank away with the calculations and formats and everything else. Okay, now the conversion has been completed. So let's go ahead and view our output as step file inside of Autodesk Inventor. Okay, as you see now, the entire printed circuit board has been imported and is now displayed right inside of Inventor. And you'll see it for each of the separate assemblies. You've got the data all set up, so you're completely ready to go from here as far as analysis or anything else that's needed to be performed. You can see the boards fully in there. Thank you very much.